Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I had a subscriber message me a couple days ago, and we've been working back and forth, and he doesn't have the fill tool, or the smart fill tool. He was trying to do one of my videos, and so I had him send me a screenshot. He actually has Corel X8, but there's no smart fill tool. So there's two things you could do. It's there, as I told him it would be, but you need to get it back. So when you're missing a tool in the toolbar, and I purposely made my tools big just to make the, make the point, you can do two things. You can close down the program and hold down the F8 button when you're trying to restart it, and it'll ask you if you want to set everything back to default. And that should solve the problem. But with that said, it's going to create, you know, different things. It's going to make where you're drawing in the hairline. It's going to change uh, your nudge factor and your off, you know, your duplicate offset thing. So it's going to change some things. It's going to you're going to have to re-put in your screen. So this is what you could do. First of all, there's this plus sign. Just double click on it and go to customize, customize, go to commands. Oh, let's go to command bars and see, I've got it set on large right now. I do not have the smart fill tool either, but if you set these on small, let's see. Well, I need to get out of here. So, okay. There's my smart fill tool. There it is right there, but it wasn't there before because it was so big. It was off the page. Now with that said, you can double click on this and you can go through here and look, make sure you're make sure. And if that didn't work, maybe your smart fill tool isn't checked right here. It's checked. So if we uncheck it, that smart fill tool goes away. So you need to make sure it's checked and you need to make sure that you're icons aren't too big now you know I've got a couple of videos on there I don't ever use some of these things that I might have taken you know I don't really ever use the interactive fill and the mesh fill uh, you know the pan is kind of important these are important edit fill and colors so you can actually uncheck some of those and it'll give you more space if you want to make it a little bit bigger so let's go now let's make a medium and my smart fill tool is still there but there might be some things missing so maybe keep it little until you really know what you do like right there I don't ever use the this mesh tool so all you would do is just double click on it find the mesh tool and it ought to be pretty much in order that it is in line so let's see where this mesh tool is. Just uncheck it. I don't ever use any of these. So it saved me a little bit of space, but my smart fill tool still isn't there. So you need to go and put them back, customize, command bars, and move this to small. And then you're, there's your, well, I must have unchecked it. Uh, smart fill tool. Yeah, I unchecked it. I did the wrong thing. So there you go. There's your smart fill tool. And the smart fill tool is so important because you can do so much with it. And I'll just show you, for instance, if you want to fill in that one spot and make that shape, you know, move it away. You want to, I don't, I've, I've kind of gotten away from using, uh, X7 because I've got some bugs in it, but if you wanted just that shape, get your uh, smart fill tool and fill in that, and right up here is your color, so you can set it for black. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit, and I hope you learned a little bit. Thank you for watching.